Welcome everyone to qualifying for the running uh, for Bristol Night Race for the Bristol Night Race here in the Casual GTX Cup This is the first time we've done qual uh, done live qualifying for this series, and so that's what we're going to do here today. And it's two laps of qualifying here at the Bristol Motor Speedway for the Night Race at Bristol, the Bush Series the Bush Five Hundred. As thirty-seven cars will be in quest for uh, all pursue their quest for the pole, and today's a bit here for. The, for the event, I should say. So, let's get to the first car on the racetrack here today. And our first car to qualify on the racetrack here, they'll be, they'll, the <coughs> positions, the uh, qualifying draw is determined by where they're at in the points from from last to first. So, first on the track right now will be TJ Dent, the number 68 Country Time Ford. And he takes his first lap on the racetrack here. TJ Dent currently having a horrible season at 37 places in the points. He has one top 10 finish this season. As they come off the as he comes off the fourth turn, the first lap completed for TJ Dent. His first lap, a 15-11 at, at 126-989. That's his first lap here. Let's see what he does on his second lap and see if he improves. If he does, off the fourth turn he comes here and he'll seems like a better lap this time by, and it is a 14-80 on the second lap. Which he has a speed of 129.649 miles per hour. So TJ Dent gives him the mark to shoot for here in the first here as we're as we're underway in qualifying here at Bristol. <clears throat> so I'll bring up our next car on the track right now, Raleigh Spurly Tube in car 27, the McDonald's Ford. Currently sitting 36th in the points right now coming into this event. So he's the second car to draw as he'll take the green flag for his first lap. A little bit high on that first track here, on that first lap here. It may not be what um, TJ Dent ran in his first lap of this race, and his first lap of qualifying. And the first lap for Sproly Tube, a 14.918. So that puts him second place with, at the moment. 14.80 is the mark to shoot at, and, that, and, he, might, and he got a little cross up off the second turn. So Sproly Tube off the fourth turn he comes, second lap. A slight bit better, a 14.89. It's going to be in sec It's going to be second place for him. His speed on that run, 128.865 miles per hour. So, Spurly Tube, second car to qualify here at Bristol, and he's currently sitting second place at the moment out of, two, out of two cars as he stops behind the pit wall and stops at the pumps for some reason. <sighs> Now usually they would stop him at the pumps. I was I would say I think of uh, fill him up for qualifying, but I don't know why you would do so after the, the run actually. Well, anyway, the third car to come up right now is that Winkle, the twenty seven, the number seventeen, so I should say, the Western Auto Chevy, car owned by Daryl Walter, who's had so many so much success here at Bristol. Off the fourth turn he comes here and Winkle's first lap a 14.849 on a second on a first lap. 129.221 to speed. Let's see what his second lap is. Second lap maybe it looks like it looks like it could be a little bit better. It goes through the third and fourth turns nicely. And the second lap, not quite as quick. A 14.895 on the second lap. Tires for a speed of 128.822 miles an hour. So Zach Winkle is now second place. Behind the pole sitter so far, TJ Dent, as we're early on in qualifying here at Bristol. Back at Bristol Motor Speedway, as we're as we're um, as we're qualifying here today for the running of the Bud of the Bush 500, and this car, next car up on the track is Nicholas Wade in number 14 Kellogg's Cornflake Chevrolet. As he's on his first lap, and oh, pro he, and he gets the wall come off the second turn, so. Trying to get the best lap he possibly can on this first lap. First lap is going to be a 15-15 on the second uh, first lap. That's the slowest first lap of the of this session so far. He's going to need a dynamite second lap there. The lap to be as a 14-80 set by TJ Dent. And, and on the start finish line, checkered flag. And it's a pole run for Nicholas Wade, number 14, Kelsey Cornbike Chevrolet. 14-767 on that second lap. Ties a speed of 129.939 miles per hour. So he's going to be the pole sitter so far out of the four cars that have qualified so far here at Bristol as he brings the car behind the wall. So 
So up now to qualify. So number 30, Pennzoil Pontiac of Ty Dent. He's the next card up to qualify. Taking the green flag for his first qualifying run. The Pennzoil Pontiac has had some good runs here this season. He has had a couple of top 10 finishes. A top 5 actually at Pocono a couple of races ago. He and his brother TJ are huge, huge fans of short tracks. And the first lap for Ty, a 14.99 on his first lap, 14.997. That second lap, he may be, he might, that second lap is looking pretty good so far. I don't know if that's going to top the 14 car, and almost does. A 14.773 on his second lap, and that's always a speed of 129.886. So just missed the pole by 7,000th of a second to Nicholas Wade, who's still number one. That's going to put Ty Dent second place at the moment. So next car up is the number one Skull Classic Ford. It is Diego Yepes. He's the next car up on the track right now. Sixth car to qualify so far here today. Yepes was the pole sitter for the Brickyard 400 out of Indianapolis a couple of races ago. And the first lap for Yepes at 14.968 on the second lap on the first lap of the race here. And, oh, I got the wall on the second turn, so Yepes. That's going to kill his second lap, though. Yepes' the second lap is, gonna, is only a 15.024, so Yepes will be the slowest of the six cars to qualify so far here at Bristol. And it's 15.968, ties to a speed of 128.194 miles per hour. So I'll bring up right now the number 75 car of James Henry at the wheel of the Bank of Stores of America Ford. As he's on his set first lap of this race this, of qualifying. Henry, a uh, rookie in this series, and he's, uh, he's had kind of an up and down rookie season so far. First lap for James Henry, a 14804 on that first lap. And that's going to be very, that's, that was almost close to what. TJ Dent ran. Second lap here. He got the wall just a little bit off turn number two, as you saw. And still improves on the second lap, but almost pulls. A 14.776 is going to put him third spot at the moment. 129.859 miles per hour on that second lap. So, top three guards very, very close together. And that, is, that, that run just nine thousandths from the pole position. He's in third spot at the moment. So, this is the next car up to qualify. It's Simon Bloomfield, the number 9 Orkin Pest Control Ford. Takes the green flag for his first lap in qualifying. Driving the Harry Mellingon machine. Off turn number 4. Bloomfield comes off across the start finish line. A 1507 on the first lap. Needs to improve on his second lap by a bunch of 15. 767 is what he needs to beat for the pole. And doesn't quite get it. A 14.922 on the second lap. And that speed, the speed ties to 128.589 miles per hour. So that's going to put Bloomfield's seventh quickest out of the eight cars that's qualified so far. He comes in this race, I believe. He comes in his race 30th in the standings coming in here, and his best finish, as I said, was a second at Daytona this season. <clears throat> so I'll bring up our next car to qualify, 29th in the standings coming in. That is Rob Evans, the number 12 Meineke Mufflers Ford. Let's see what he does on his first slap of qualifying. Evans drives it off the second turn here, his best finish... Has been he's had a, actually I had actually I think he had only one or two top tens this season so far. First lap is a fit fourteen eighty nine a one twenty eight eight sixty five on the first lap. <clears throat> Evans comes off the four turn full air, taps the wall just a slight and that's going to cost him a fourteen nine thirteen on the second lap. A 128.666. So Rob Evans is the seventh place car so far out of the nine that have qualified here at Bristol. We'll be right back after this. 
Back at Bristol, Tennessee, as we're back, as we're set, as we're doing Bush 500 qualifying here. And that will bring up Jose Mills, the number 31 Mom and Pops Goodrich Chevrolet. He's on his first lap of qualifying. Time he needs to be for the poll is a set as a 14767 set by Nicholas Wade, who has he has not been knocked off. A couple guys have taken a good shots at him though, but not quite enough. The 14916 is not gonna do it on the first lap for Nick for Jose Mills. His speed on that run of 128.641. See what his second lap is gonna be. Bit high on the track off turn number four. And slap number two is a 15018. So he slows down on the second lap. Speed on that run, 127.767. So, that'll put Jose Mills eighth quickest out of the, uh, out of the 11 cars that have qualified so far here at Bristol. So, next car to qualify, about to take a, his first lap around, is Ryan Brommer, the number 33 Skull Bandit Chevy. Not yet won a pole so far this season. The pole flat to be is a 14767. It's again, but Nicholas set by <laughs> set by Nicholas Wade. And the first lap, uh 14937 on the first lap. But Brommer's got a good second lap going, looks like here on this on this lap. Here, let's see what happens here. Sticks it down the turn off the fourth turn. And it's a pole run for Ryan Brommer. Picked up big time on the second lap. Picked up from a 1493 to a 14745 on its second lap. And it's and the first one at over 130 miles per hour, 130.132 for Ryan Brommer. So Ryan Brommer, the new pole sitter for the moment right now, and it's gonna bring up Nathan Ormond, the number 55 Jasper Engines Ford. Orman, the 12th car to go out and qualify right now as he as he brings the car to third turn. 14.745, the lap to beat for the pole. First lap, not quite good. A 14.937. That's the same first lap that, that uh, Brahma ran, though, so that could be news for Orman here. Let's see what happens. He does through the third and fourth turns. Looks pretty good. But got but uh, had to steer it come off that wall come off the last turn, and it cost him a fourteen eight ninety four on the second lap at one twenty eight point eight three one miles per hour. So, Ormond looks like it's going to make the short turn off here uh, come off the backstretch pit. It's the only track that's got a backstretch pit road here at Bristol. So that will now bring up the 83 car of Vince Almarego, the Purex detergent Ford. He's on his first lap of qualifying here. Almarego with a an okay season so far for him, but still uh, some enough room to make some progress. First lap, a 15.003 on the first lap. So, and oh, Almarego hard in the wall on the second lap here. So let's see what he does. He's going to need a killer second lap here. And, and, and oh, he has got handling problems big time in that qualifying setup. Still improves that to a 14.971. That's the good news. Bad news is that is the slowest lap of the bunch. So they really screwed up Vince Almarega's uh, handling on the second lap without question. And it's a question, but you hear that stopwatch, though, going tick, 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 you know, and you know when the quickest time gets the pole. You gotta do whatever you gotta do, so I'm ready to go shirt to give it his darndest and And of course you saw that hit into the invisible wall, so Almarego's certainly uh, expressing his frustration over that qualifying when he knew he didn't like it. Well on the line right on the starting on the um, lap right now is is number forty, Mitchell Collins, the Pepsi four hundred winner at Daytona this season. Dirt Devil Pontiac coming around to complete to get the white flag on his for a second lap and his first lap on this run a 14.842 on the first lap good lap for the uh, for number 40 machine <clears throat> not as good an exit on the second quarter that time by he's trying to get all he could off that fourth turn 
And he also kisses the wall, come off that fourth turn. <clears throat> and that's going to be a 15.002, a lap of 127.903. His first lap speed, a 129.282. So, <clears throat> Mitchell Collins completing his qualifying lap. So as Mitchell Collins makes his uh, way into the garage area, that'll bring up Cat Bats in the 16 Keystone Beer Ford. As she is the 13th car to come up to, 14th car to come up to qualify. And she'll get the first lap, a green flag here. 14.745, remember it's the pole speed to beat. Set by Ryan Brommer in the 33 car, and as they come off turn number four, Batson's first lap. Pretty good, a 14.848. It's going to put her seventh quick at the moment. Speed of 129.23 miles per hour in the second lap. Looks pretty good. She gets a little on the high side here, and it's going to cost her a little bit of time. And it does, a 15.032 on the second lap for Kat Batson, a speed of 127.648. So the one, so the 15.848. It's going to put Batson 7th quick at the moment as we'll be right back here from Bristol. Back at Bristol, Tennessee as we're, as we're still in Bush 500 qualifying at Bristol, Tennessee. And up now is Jonathan Zorland, the number 25 Kodiak Chevrolet the, for Hendrick Motorsports. 22nd place in Sanix coming into this event. And he takes his green flag to start his qualifying run. Zorlin, the only Hendrick card of yet to win this season. We'll see if that happens. Uh, we'll see if that will come true at Bristol or not, or maybe before the end of the season. In the season, who knows? And how about a pole run on that first lap? 14.642 for Jonathan Zorlin. That's going to speed. That's going to speed up 131.048 miles an hour. And that's, let's see what his second lap's going to be. And drops off a 14.826 on the second lap. But how about that pole run for Zorlin of 14.64? And that is a and that is a tenth of a second quicker than the laps laid down by Brian by Ryan Brommer. Zorlin's team really pushed a button on that one. Boy, that lap is going to be a tough one to follow here for all the rest of the qualifiers, including this man, Mike Becker, the winner of this season at Auto Club. <clears throat> in the Auto Club 400, as he takes the STP Pontiac, car number 44, on the track right now. So, 14.642 is the lap to beat now by Sorlin at 131.048 miles per hour. Becker rounds that car off the 14, so his first lap is going to be... And it is a second quickest lap of the, of the qualifying, 1470, 14705 to be exact, at 130.486. Second lap for Zorlin, or second lap for Becker, I should say, comes off the fourth turn. And it's going to be slower, a 14.962 a at 128.245. So Mike Becker, second quickest at the moment in the STP Pontiac. So Becker pulls it behind a bit, so I'll bring up now the Morgan Shepard cars to Sitco Ford car number 21. Quentin Moore, the winner of the season at the second race at Pocono. He also won a season at the, on a short track at North Wilkesboro. So Quentin brings off the fourth turn, and he starts his first lap of the uh, qualifying for the Bush 500. Quentin had a dominant car at Wilkesboro. He won that race, I think, from the pole. First lap for Quentin, a 1469. So that's going to be put in second quickest at the moment. 14.691 at 130.611 miles per hour. And Quentin's second lap looks like it's going to be a good one as well. Second lap is a little bit slower. 14.743 at 130.15 miles per hour. So Quentin Moore, great lap, but it's in second quickest at the moment behind, Ryan, behind Jonathan Zorlin. Takes the, takes the Morgan Shepard cars from 1993 on to Pitt Road. So 
So Quentin Moore with a good qualifying run for in, in the number two spot. That'll bring up Jay Jefferson, the man who won this past season, this, this season at the Die Hard 500 at Talladega for his first ever win in this series. Green flag out for the Tide Ride, number five. That car's been solid since the, since really a disastrous first half of the season where his best finish in that point was a second at Charlotte. His first lap is a 14.827 on the first lap at 129.413 miles per hour. So the second lap for Jefferson looks like a pretty good one. A little bit high on the track. Good fourth turn right there, but a slight bit slower. A 14.909 on the second lap at 128.701. So 14.82 is going to put Jefferson... Um, a little bit around mid-pack or so. So that's going to bring up now the 8 car of, e of Eli Bright, the Daytona 500 champion this season. Revis is Ford, car number 8. <clears throat> Taking the took the guard took the green flag for his first lap here. So he's now taking a white flag for his second lap. A 14.772, a good first lap for Eli Bright. Speed on that run, 129.895, and he slams the wall on the second turn. So that's going to blow his second lap. He's way high now on the second, through the third and fourth turns, and he knew right then <coughs> that lap was already blown by hitting the wall. So so 15.32 on the second lap at 125.248, but Eli Bright. Good first lap though, a 14.77 on the first lap of this uh, 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 qualifying at Bristol. And it's going to put him about pretty well up there in the field though, so far. Up on the track now is Paul Minnick, the number 90 Hollygmeyer Stores Ford. And whoa, Minnick just about and Minnick got way loose going in the turn through turns one and two. It's about to spun the car and he's up high on the track now because they come off the fourth turn. Minnick's first lap, a 15.29 on the first lap. That's not a good first lap. And off the and Minnick gets off the wall just a little bit, trying to improve on his second lap. And the second lap, he's up high on the track again and slams the wall and has to back off the throttle. And still is a 15.050. So Minnick, not happy with that second lap. Obviously, I'm not happy with that cold quality run. Obviously, the, the setup obviously missed on the number 90 car. And he'll be the slowest of the cars that's qualified so far. So that will bring up the number six car, Becca Tellier, the number six Valvoline Ford winner this season at New Hampshire. <clears throat> see what see how the Mark Martin callers do here at Bristol as they as she goes in the third turn. Pretty good first lap looks like for that Valvoline callers as they come off the fourth turn. Or she comes off the fourth turn at 14,853 on the first lap. <clears throat> Speed ties to 129.186 miles per hour. Second lap for Tellier. A little bit high on the track, second lap. Looks good, but it's a 14.967, so she so she slows down second lap like a lot of people have so far today. Speed for Tellier on the second lap, 128.202 miles per hour. So Tellier makes her way down. The, well, I'm sure we'll probably go behind the wall. And she comes to this race, I believe, set, set, 16th in the Saints coming into this race here at Bristol. As she stops at the gas pumps and... Um, Back to the garage she goes. So now bring up now the boss of the KB Enterprises in operation, Keith Batson, the man from the state of Maine and a Texaco Havlin Ford. Winner this season on the road course at Sonoma, California. That's where he won this race. He is also the defending champion at this event. He remember started 37th in this race last season and went on to win the event at dodging a number of caution flags in that event. Keith's first lap off the fourth turn, taps the wall just a slight. And still a good one, 14-7-16 for Batson. 
That's going to put him fourth quickest at the moment, and he's off the wall on the second lap. He's trying to get all he can out of that Texaco Havlin forward, and he just finally says that's not going to be quicker. Second lap, a 124.687. The time, a 15.389. So, Bass is doing all he could do to try to get all, that, all he can on the second lap, though, try to get the pole, but... Uh, 14, still 14.71, not a bad lap for Batson. This, as I said, going to put him fourth quickest here at Bristol. So, as Batson makes his way to the garage area, that will bring up now Zachary Fitzwater in 52, Nap Auto Parts Ford, as he begins his qualifying run. Again, pole time to beat is a 14.64 as the, as the time to beat for the pole. Set by Jonathan Zorland at the moment. Quentin Moore is currently second position at the moment. In qualifying with Mike Becker third. First slap for Fitzwater of 14.732. It's going to put him fifth quickest at the moment. His speed on that run, 130.247. And he is off the wall on the second lap. Just like we saw Batson and a few others do earlier. Slides that car off the fourth turn and a 14.981. For Quentin Moore, his, I mean, not Quentin Moore, but Zachary Fitzwater, excuse me. His second lap of 128.082, but, but Fitzwater currently number five at the moment. And for Bush 500 qualifying, as he makes his, as he makes a turn off on to the, to behind the wall. And that will bring up now Seth Cole, the, ben, the Bojangles Ford, car number 98. Trying to not the they're trying to knock the twenty five of Zorlin off the pole and see what the president of the NSCRA could do here in this in the black car. Midnight black, that number ninety eight car is, and the first lap is a fourteen eighty six, and that is a one twenty nine one two five on lap number one. See what he does on the second lap, trying to improve if he if at all possible, and. Off the wall, Seth Cole goes off the fourth turn, and it's a 14.997 and a speed of 127.946. So Seth Cole pulls her into the pit, says, we'll be right back here at Bristol. Back at Bristol Motor Speedway, Jesse Turner is now the next car up on the qualified. The number 71, Dave Marcus, car, uh, spawn, uh, owned machine, STG Ford. Or STG Chevrolet, excuse me. Turner, yet to win a race this season so far. So he rounds the car off the fourth turn. Let's see what he does on this first lap. Looks like a good first lap here. And it, it is a good one. A 1465. It's gonna be it's gonna be second quick. It's gonna be second quickest in, in qualifying. And he is gonna shut it off after that first lap. That's pretty strange on that part of the 71 car. He kind of realizes now that some that some of the cars have a lot of cars that in qualifying so far have slowed down. On their second laps, and I think Turner kind of realized that he didn't go into that first turn all that well, and he is going to just shut it off. So coming up to qualify right now, the number 26 Quaker State Ford. It is Sky Commons who had such a good run the um, last few races on his on his car. He had a good run in the first race at Bristol, only to get taken out on the. Um, and a crash very late in the going that robbed him of a top 10, maybe a possible top 5 finish of that car. He started outside pole in the spring race. <coughs> and the first lap for Sky, a 15-102. Not a good first lap, but he hopes that the second lap looks like going to be a pretty good one right there for Sky Thomas in his quicker state car. If he could just keep that car hooked up, and he's going to stay hooked up, and it improves, actually, to a 14785 So, Sky Commons, another one in a 14-second club here at Bristol. Speed on that, speed on that qualifying run, 129.780 miles per hour. So, Sky Commons completes his qualifying run and, and, and sends, it, sends it to the attention of his crew. So, up to the Oh, so up on the track now is the number four card. This is William Brock, who won a season at Rockingham. And the Goodwrench 400 will be heading to Rockingham, back to Rockingham a little bit later on in the season for the AC Delco 400 and that for that event. But we are still qualifying for the Bush 500 here at Bristol. William Brock runs off to turn number four for the first lap of qualifying. And his first lap is a 14.864 on the first lap. 
Speed of 129.091. See what he does on the second lap. Looks like a pretty good one, I think, on the second lap. And the second lap, he kisses the wall just a bit off that fourth turn. That's gonna cost that's gonna cost him a bit. So second lap on that second lap tied up 14.908 at 128.71 miles per hour. So William Brock uh, with a strong qualifying run, but still it's gonna put him about middle of the pack. So that puts William Brock only 19th in qualifying so far. That's going to bring up Kyle Matthews, the defending series champion, the Mellow Yellow Pontiac. Winner of the season uh, earlier this, in the spring race at Bristol, and he also won the third race of the season at Richmond this season. So Matthews looking for the Bristol sweep this season. He also won it on the road course at Watkins Glen, so he has three wins so far this season. Matthews gets a little loose off the fourth turn, kisses the wall just a bit, and Matthews first lap of 14,836 on the first lap. Trying to be a little careful on the second lap here, but yet go fast at the same time. That is not a good combination to be. He seems to do good on the second lap, but the second lap is a bit slower. A 1512 on the second lap at 126,838. So Kyle Matthews. A little bit slower than William Brock, though, on that lap, but he's, he's going to end up about almost mid-pack again on his, on, on his qualifying run, so a lot of people are getting a little bit slower as the night goes on. So as Matthews pulls off on the race track, we now have Preston Plored on the track now as we're down to the final few cars to qualify. Preston in the Interstate Battery Chevrolet car number 18. Five-time winner last season, but he's yet to get a win this season, believe it or not. He has, has he's been close a few times, but it's not quite pulled it off. So Preston comes off the fourth corner for us to get the white flag. His first lap of 14.835, so about about almost what Kyle Matthews went on his first lap. And Porter gets the wall on the second lap. Off to number two. Goes the high side and just uh, finally decides to throw in the towel because he knew that second lap was not going to be as quick anyway. <clears throat> He'll complete it anyway at 18.614. So, but that's really, but Pre Pre Preston, I'm sure, is going to want to wave that second lap off and just can't let the first lap count. So 14.835 for Preston Plored, 129.343. So as Preston Plored uh, pulls on the pit road, he puts him 15th in the order. Matthews back to 16th, and that's going to put Johnny Gardner up on the track now. Car number seven, the Hooters Ford, the man who won it, who won the, se the season at the first race at Dover, the first, the dominant that they over there. Johnny's first lap. Let's see what he does here. He, you know, the track seems to be going away somewhat here at Bristol. First lap of 128.023 on the first lap. It's going to be a time of a 14.988 on the first lap here. To here, and he see it is in the second lap. Second lap tries to see if he can improve, and he does not. A 15.058 on the second lap. 127.427 miles per hour. So Johnny Gardner is not going to be pleased with that. It's going to be just, it's going to be displeased with that one because he is way back in the back. Here, in fact, it's going to put him, I think, um, out of the, out of the, probably going to put him in the back of the pack, I think, as he pulls up to the gas pumps. So, Gardner uh, in the back of the pack, without question, starting here at Bristol for the night race, says Miss Bush 500 is now down to the final six cars, and here's the man six in the points, Dylan Poteet, the, the number 22 Mount Maxwell House Ford. Poti out of the state of Kentucky he has yet to win a race this season. He has not won a race in a long time in a series. The man who was the first ever series champion in the Casual GTX Cup Series, first lap, and a real good one at fourteen sixty eight on the second on the first lap for Poti, and that's going to be third quickest for him as he gets off the wall on, on lap number two, and realizes this and and. X is the corner and realizes that lap's not going to be a good one. A 15 531. <clears throat> but for Poti, a really good lap on, on lap number one, 1468, a speed of 130.709 for Dylan Poti. Puts him third spot in qualifying so far with now five cars left to go. Okie dokie. So, so now it's fifth. 
placing the points now on the track. That is Joshua Osborne, number 15, the motor craft board. And likewise, like Poti is as another driver yet to win a race this season, but yet still in the top five in the standings coming in. It's been solid this season so far, and a bud more prepared Ford. Osborne off the fourth turn. He's another Kentucky out of the state out of the town of Van Lear, which was on the outskirts of Pitt of uh, Paintsville. And his first lap of 14.787 on that first lap, and it ties to 129.763 miles per hour. His second lap. And taps the wall of the four turn, just like a lot of the others have. A speed of 128.839, and this time up of 14.893. So, Joshua Osborne will bring the car back on the to back behind the wall and prepare it for the race and prepare it for the Bush 500. <laughs> So next up right now will be Charles Sanford, the number 24 DuPont Chevrolet. He is a former Bristol winner himself. His only win here at Bristol came, by the way, in the spring race uh, back a uh, few seasons ago. A little loose come off the second turn here uh, in the Jeff Gordon colors as, San as Sanford rounds the fourth turn. And a 14.959. He's not going to be pleased with that first lap. Let's see if he, he's, he's, he thinks he'll, and he'll do a second lap. See if he, what well, he does. He, a lot of cars have slowed up on the second lap. Let's remember that. So, Sanford's second lap looks like it's going to be a pretty good one. And it is better. A 14.852. So, he's improved by a tenth of a second. The speed on the second lap, 129.195 miles per hour. The first lap speed was a 128.271. So, Sanford. 14852 of 129 195. So that's going to put him about middle of the pack as we have now three cars left to go. So the third to the last car up on the track now is the number two Miller Genuine Draft Four Pontiac of Dylan Young, who is the pole sitter for the spring race here at Bristol. The first visit here as he gets the green flag to start his first of two qualifying laps. Young off the fourth turn. Let's see what he does on the first lap. First lap is a 14.726 for Dylan Young. Speed of that run, 130.300 miles per hour. Off the fourth turn. Young off the fourth corner. Taps the wall just a bit, and it's going to be a 14.854 on lap two. So slows down on the second lap. His speed on the second lap, 129.177. So... Again, the fastest up for Dylan Young, a 14.726, 130.3 on the speed. So Dylan Young joins the 130-mile-an-hour club here at this race. we got two qualifiers left to go to see who can knock off the pulse running winning run of Jonathan Zorlin so far. So Dylan Young pulls his car into pit road, two qualifiers left to go. And ladies and gentlemen, there's your five four-time champion, Jessica Shelton. She's won here at Bristol before, but never the night race. We'll see if she can change that this weekend. First lap uh, green is on for Shelton. The green flag is out. Her, her She's won only once on this racetrack before. And Shelton comes off quarter number four, and she'll her first lap of 14.729. A good lap, first lap for Shelton. Her speed on that lap, 130.274 miles per hour. Shelton in the Boweser board. Off the fourth corner, gets way high. And she kind of, and she must have loved the throw just a little bit. And that cost her a 15.154 on lap two. Speed of 126.62 miles per hour. So Jessica Shelton, still not, you know, so it's Jessica Shelton with a good lap here. The pole, speed, pole time to beat, still a 15 Point sixty four, and we still have one qualifier left to go. So that will bring up one more driver left to go to try to knock off the fourteen sixty four set by Jonathan Sorlin for the pole here at Bristol. That will be the points leader, Cole Deaver, in the GM Giver Chevrolet car number three. Three time winner of the season so far for him. He has won at Atlanta, Martinsville, and again at Riverside on a road course. Joining several of the drivers who've won multi races, including him, Kyle Matthews, Charles Sanford, Jessica Shelton, Quentin Moore, and Dylan Young. 
Devers first lap of 14.748 on that first lap of 130.106. And he gets the wall off turn number two. It's going to cost him just a little bit, though. It still looks like a pretty good lap here for Devers despite that. Second lap, and he improves, but not enough for the pole. A 14.728 at 130.283. So that means Jonathan Zorlin is going to be your pole sitter for the Bush 500 here at Bristol. And we'll have the qualifying results right after this. Welcome back to Bush Pole Qualifying, as has now been wrapped up from Bristol Motor Speedway in Bristol, Tennessee. And Jonathan Zorlin will be your pole sitter for to for the Bush 500 for the Casual Chief Dix Cup Series. This is 20, the 24th stop on the series, I believe, for season 21. And here's your pole, and here's your lineup for to, for that race here. Jonathan Zorlin is on your pole is on the pole for the race at a hundred at a fourteen sixty four speed of one hundred thirty one point oh five miles point oh four eight miles per hour. And Jesse Turner will start alongside of him with a fourteen sixty five on it on that second lap at one thirty point nine seven miles per hour. Then starting row two will be Dylan Poteet in twenty two and Quentin Moore in twenty one. Third row will have Mike Becker and Keith Batson. Fourth row will be Dylan Young and Cole Deaver. Deaver currently in the points here coming into Bristol. Hopes to kind of um, survive this race. As does the inside of the fifth row, Jessica Shelton. She will start ninth and alongside of her, Zachary Fitzwater in the 52 car. Almost won this last season as well, too, but got caught up in a, in, a excur in a dilemma in the late laps of the race. Or I should say an altercation. Sixth row have a surprise sixth row here. Ryan Brommer and Nicholas Wade. That's the sixth row for this event here. Brommer with a 1475 and a 1477 for Nicholas Wade on his lap. Seventh row will be the Daytona 500 champion Eli Bright and then Ty Dent in the 14th position. A good qualifying run for him. Then row eight will have James Henry in 75 and Sky Commons in 26. Ninth row will have the, he'll have the number five driver in the points, Joshua Osborne. And he'll be alongside T.J. Dent in the 18th position. Osborne starts 17th. 10th row will have the Talladega winner, Jay Jefferson. And number 5 and Preston Plort in 18th will start 20th into this race. Defending Series champion Kyle Matthews inside of the 11th row in 21st position. Mitchell Collins in 22nd. 23rd, Cat Batson in the 23rd spot. 24th will be Zach Winkle. Then starting 25th, a long way to go for Charles Sanford, who if he hopes to get his first uh, Bristol night win, he has a day win at Bristol in this series, but never a night win. That could tell you the New Hampshire winner starts in 26th position. Sanford, by the way, a three-time winner this season. Starting in the 14th row will be Seth Cole and William Brock. Both of them have um, here have a long way to go. Brock, a uh, long way to go, especially for his second victory in the season. <coughs> starting in... Fifth, row 15 will be Rob Evans and Riley Spurley. Two. Row 16 will be Nathan Horman and Jose Mills. Then row 17 will be Simon Bloomfield and Diego Yepes. And starting 18, starting row 18 will be the will be Vince Almarego in 83 and Johnny Gardner. A long way to go for him in the 30 from 36 starting position. But let's remember, Keith Batson won his race from 37th last season. And starting in that 37 position, uh, all alone in the 19th row will be Paul Minnick. The only run not in the 14 second range of the 1505. That's the slowest lap of the whole qualifying. So that will do it for qualifying for the Bush 500 for the Casual GTX Cup Series. We hope you join us for the race itself here. And as always, if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the Universe Sports Gaming Channel. We get everything on this channel. We get our races, gaming videos, whatever present of the Universe Sports Gaming Channel. And please be sure to check out Seth's Cavalcade Series in the Universe Series, the Pizza Hut X Series, the Hershey's Cup Series, the Last of Us Life Series, and the and the, 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 and Course like truck series and also his new series, the, the Skittle Super Speedway series as well, as well as our and we also and we also hope you check out our other internet series series as well, including the excuse me, including the Marvel Studios Cup series and the Budweiser All Pro series. So we'll see you for the Bush 500 at Bristol, Tennessee. Here, congratulations again to Jonathan Zorlin, the pole sitter for the Bush 500, and for now, this is James Qualls, with the production of the Internet CRA, offline racing at its best.